Unintentional weight loss is defined as a 5% reduction of the usual body weight over 6 to 12 months. Weight loss like this is associated with increase in mortality. Now there's a few definitions that we need to go over. Anorexia is the decrease in appetite. Cachexia is weight loss from loss of muscle mass with or without fat loss. And sarcopenia is a geriatric syndrome characterized by loss of muscle mass, strength, and performance. There are many causes of weight loss, and if no fever or other cause of increased expenditure state, such as exercising, then weight loss is probably due to a reduced dietary intake. Let's go over some causes of unintentional weight loss. The first two, probably most important, is if someone has reduced dietary intake or if they're vigorously exercising. An important cause to know is malignancy, and this can be any malignancy, such as from the gastrointestinal system, esophagus, gastric cancer, pancreatic cancer, or colorectal cancer, renal cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancer, or hematological malignancy, such as lymphoma. Unintentional weight loss should always raise suspicion of malignancy, especially in the elderly. Malignancy causes weight loss either by suppressing appetite due to discomfort or pain in a certain area, or because it steals the nutrients that otherwise the healthy body needs. Let's focus on non-malignant causes. Firstly, by focusing on non-malignant causes of the gastrointestinal tract, which typically are the ones that cause malabsorption. But it also can include things such as dysphagia, difficulty swallowing, gastroparesis, which is slowing down of the stomach, so you have slowing of gastric emptying, peptic ulcer disease, chronic pancreatitis, celiac disease, which is an autoimmune attack on the small intestine on exposure to gluten. This causes damage to the microvilli of the intestine, which causes poor digestion and absorption of the nutrients. There's also inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease, which is a transmural mural inflammatory process, or ulcerative colitis, a superficial inflammation of the bowels, leading to reduced absorption of nutrients. Other causes include chronic bowel ischemia, caused by stenosis of the mesenteric artery or a clot because someone has AF and is not anticoagulated. Neurological causes of weight loss include dementia because they're forgetting and they have trouble eating by themselves. Parkinson's disease and motor neuron disease can manifest with dysphagia. Rheumatological causes, because of this inflammatory state, it really just suppresses appetite and increases expenditure. These include namely giant cell arthritis, which is a type of vasculitis, and rheumatoid arthritis. Endocrinopathies are things related to the endocrine system, which really just increased um, energy expenditure. These include hyper hyperthyroidism and type 1 diabetes mellitus, as well as adrenal insufficiency. Then you have, importantly, psychiatric disorders, which involve really uh, reduced oral intake. These include depression, anorexia nervosa, and bulimia. Chronic infections causes weight loss because the body is unwell, there's increased uh, energy expenditure, and sometimes the parasites, for example, steal the nutrients that otherwise the body needs. These infections I'm talking about include human immunodeficiency virus, tuberculosis, and helmet infections. Medications that cause weight loss include alcohol, chronically, cocaine, amphetamines, tobacco, anti-diabetic agents, specifically GLP-1 agonists and SGLT-2 inhibitors, thyroxine as well, because they're really, you're giving someone thyroid hormones, Advanced chronic diseases can cause uh, weight loss through a multifactorial process, but these chronic conditions are namely congestive cardiac failure, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and chronic kidney disease.
When talking about unintentional weight loss, it's important to talk about uh, weight loss from a geriatrics perspective, so aged care people. And this is usually a multifactorial process and includes inadequate dietary intake, cachexia, anorexia, and sarcopenia. And all of these are interconnected and play a role in weight loss in an, in an old person. Going deeper though, you know, old people have loss of smell, loss of taste, difficulty with swallowing. Some have difficulty accessing food. They have normally delayed gastric emptying, gastroparesis, and also they have less response to hunger hormones. Further, because of age in general, there's reduced physical activity and muscle strength. There's muscle atrophy and strength loss. There's reduced hormones, including testosterone and estrogen, which are quite important for these. There's also an increased likelihood of having chronic diseases, which also play a role in weight loss. Weight loss treatment itself involves treating and addressing the underlying cause, which we talked about. But also, especially in the elderly population, we have to address all those factors that we just talked about. It's important to encourage uh, one to increase their oral intake, the food intake, have a balanced diet, high in calories, and remember nutritional replacement, for example, vitamins and minerals. There are pharmacological options available, which include appetite stimulants, also known as orexigenics. These are mainly used for people who are old or those who have significant chronic diseases, such as AIDS. Within the central nervous system, there are neurotransmitters that are released that especially promote hunger and weight gain. Alpha-1 adrenergic receptors in the presynaptic neuron here inhibit the release of these neurotransmitters, which lead to weight loss rather than weight gain. Mirtazapine is a drug commonly used in the elderly, which inhibits alpha-1 adrenergic receptors and allows the neurotransmitters to be released, which in turn uh, leads to weight gain. Side effects of this medication include somnolence and nausea. There are also ghrelin mimickers, which can be used, which stimulates appetite. Ghrelin is a normal hormone produced by the stomach, and its function is to stimulate appetite, and so ghrelin mimickers stimulates appetite. Finally, there are megastrol acetate, which are synthetic pro progestins, and these also help with uh, stimulating appetite. The side effects for this, importantly, include heart failure, deep vein thrombosis, and generalized weakness. Finally, you have oronabinol, which is a cannabinoid, and really works on receptors of the neurons and promotes, through various mechanisms, weight gain. Thank you for watching. In summary, uh, we talked about weight loss and the different causes, namely malignancy and non-malignant causes, of which there are many. We also talked about weight loss in the geriatrics population, which um, has a multifactorial cause, includes sarcopenia, anorexia, cachexia, and reduced oral intake in general. Finally, we talked briefly about the treatment options available, namely increasing calorie intake and some pharmacological interventions. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.